Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another movie review, and as you can see from the title, I am reviewing Let Me In. Um, before I do get into this movie review, as you can see, there are some different changes. Um, as you can see, I actually have a chair to sit in and talk about movies now. I'm not really, you know, sitting on the floor, um, sort of sitting on my legs, because it was a pain to try to review movies with me being on the ground. So... Um, I'm really happy I have a chair to sit in, and actually, I can actually do this while I'm talking about movies, but... Also, I did, as you can see, I'm wearing more gray shirts, they're just different, so I can actually wear something new every time I do a video, because I just got bored of my older shirts. Um, doesn't mean I threw them away, I still like them, uh, I just got new ones. Uh, so yeah, um, so let's actually not talk about what's new, let's actually talk about the movie. So this movie... I don't know if it's a sequel or if it's a remake to the um, older movie, Let the Right One In, but um, I don't really care to see it. Uh, so I got this one. If you saw my DVD slash Blu-ray Blu collection, then you would know that um, I have it, and I actually came around to watching it. So, yeah, this movie is about, well, it stars Chloe Merez and some other people. Um, Chloe Merez plays as a vampire and uh, her name is Abby in the movie. She befriends this socially awkward kid because she moves into an apartment. And uh, he's in this apartment and they become friends. But this kid doesn't know she's a vampire till later in the movie. And it's basically sort of a love story between the, the vampire and this kid. And then in parts of the movie we get um, Chloe Merez doing her vampire stuff that she needs to. Uh, but yeah, so I went into this movie with an open mind when I, well, I put this movie in with an open mind. Um, and I really enjoyed it. There are a bunch of mixed reviews on this movie just because they're comparing it to the original that it wasn't good. Which is why I don't really care to see the original. Um, but anyways, yeah, I still enjoyed it. Um, I found it more interesting than scary. I mean, there were some scary bits, and they actually really surprised me, because, uh, you get drawn into this somewhat of a relationship with, uh, Chloe Merez's character, and, um, this other kid that I wish I knew his name, but, uh, you get drawn into the relationship, wondering what's happening next, and all that, but, and then when, you know, vampire stuff comes to I, it really surprised me. I was thinking, oh, well, I didn't see this coming. Great, we have it in this movie. But I sort of wanted to go back to that love story and see these two kids, you know, interact with each other and be friends. And um, they don't really have that sort of special relationship like um, Peter and uh, Gwen have in the Amazing Spider-Man movies. It's not like that kind, but it was still pretty... You know, cool to see the two interact um, with each other and all that. And, of course, we get the kid who's going to later learn that she's a vampire, but he doesn't really freak out about it. Now, this movie, like I said, does have some scary elements, I guess. If you're looking forward to it, it's not really going to scare you. I would just say pay attention more to the uh, sort of love story. And then when it comes, it will surprise you like it did surprise me. So, um... Yeah, I mean, this movie doesn't really have a lot of action scenes. It's just a bunch of deaths that this uh, little girl causes because she's a vampire and she needs blood to survive and all that. But, I mean, like I said, it's not a lot of action. It's just, I like to see it as a love story and with some intense scenes. If you look at it that way, you will have no problem with this movie. And uh, I would highly recommend it. Um... And I'm going to give it a four and a half just because I wish we got to see her do a little bit more vampire stuff. Uh, I didn't really have a problem with it until the end. Like, she does her vampire stuff, but you don't really get to see it. So I wish we get to see her do more of the vampire stuff if they're going to include that in the movie. Um, other than that, I really enjoyed it. Um, we do get intense scenes without um, Chloe Merez in it, which is still pretty cool. So like I said, definitely check it out. I would try picking it up at your local Walmart, maybe Target. Maybe they'll have it there. I would check on Netflix as well. I don't know if it's on TV anymore, 
But, um, yeah, I'm giving it a four and a half out of five. I really enjoyed it. The love story, the creepy scenes, and some intense scenes. And definitely go check it out. And I'll see you guys when I do my next movie review.